Okay, so you've got a couple of dumbbells, but you're not sure how to use them. They're lightweight as well, so you're thinking, I don't think I can build muscle with these dumbbells. There's ways you can maximize your lightweight dumbbells. And I'm going to share with you guys five different tips on how you can maximize your workouts using lightweight dumbbells. And when I say lightweight dumbbells, I mean anywhere from between five pounds to say around 20 to 30 pounds. I'll cut it off at 30 pounds, but if you have a pair of say 10 pounds, you know, somewhere around there, 15 pounds, you know, something like that, these tips are going to work very well for you. But number one, you wanna go ahead and increase the amount of repetitions and the amount of sets you're doing for every exercise. So it doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter what exercise, doesn't matter what muscle group you're training, doesn't matter what goal you're training for, you want to increase the amount of reps, the amount of sets. So go for between 10 to 20 repetitions and about four to six sets. Some exercises you're going to be able to do a lot more reps for, and you know, for the rest, you might not be able to do as much reps. But if you're training, you know, large muscle groups like your chest, your back, your legs, you want to go crazy. Go for about eight sets, go for about 15 to 30 repetitions. You know, really, really go crazy with those ones because that's the best way you're going to maximize that. Okay, so number two, you want to reduce your rest periods. Doesn't matter if you're trying to burn fat or you're trying to build muscle. Usually it's better if you're trying to burn fat to cut down your rest time. But if you don't have, you know, a multiple range of dumbbells all the way up to 50, 60, 70 pounds and all that, then you wanna, you know, maximize what you've got. And what you gotta do is reduce your rest time. So I like to go for about 20 seconds to 30 seconds. I never go beyond 30 seconds when I'm training with lightweights, unless, you know, I'm mixing lightweights and heavyweights, then it's a different ball game. But if it's only lightweights I'm training with, I'm reducing that rest time to between 20 and 30 seconds, you know. If you really wanna push it, you can go for 45 seconds, but never exceed 45 seconds. Number three, you want to utilize supersets and hybrids. So for a superset, you wanna complete two different exercises simultaneously so you complete one and then you complete the other one say you want to complete hammer curls and then you know regular bicep curls you want to go for 10 bicep curls and then 10 hammer curls so you do one and then you proceed with the next one without taking a break in between for a total of about 20 repetitions and as for a hybrid it's essentially um, a combination of two different uh, movements into one movement to make for an exercise. So one rep would be two moves in one. Say you wanna do a hammer and a bicep curl hybrid, what you'll have to do is complete you know, a double hammer curl and then uh, follow that up with a double bicep curl. So you do that right after each other and then that's one rep. So you do that for about 10 to 15 reps. If you're really, really feeling motivated, go for 15 reps. If not, eight to 10 reps should be enough because it's essentially double because you're doing two moves in one. For tip number four, you want to train to failure. So you want to use training to failure to maximize your lightweight dumbbell workouts. For example, after your fourth set or your fifth set, if that's your last set, you want to push all the way until you can't anymore. So you keep going and you keep crying while you're doing that, but you have to push all the way. So to failure, meaning that until you can't anymore, until that muscle says, I'm out, I'm tapping out right here, that's it. So you can use that as well towards the end of your workouts or you know, starting around the middle section of your workouts. Maybe don't train a failure from the beginning of your workouts or you might not be able to train for the rest of the workout, but you got to use failure, uh, training to failure to maximize those exercises. For tip number five, my last one for you guys, you wanna make sure that you're slowing down your repetitions for every workout and using negatives. You can even use holds as well. So both of those, they'll always help you out because you're putting more pressure on whatever muscle group you're training that way. So if you slow down your reps, it's going to be more tension on that muscle throughout. And that's, that's just perfect for when you're training with lightweight dumbbells. You can also use negatives with most of your exercises. So for example, you can do it with leaning upright rows. You can do it with bicep curls. There's so many different exercises you can do negatives with. So when I say negatives, let's take the basic bicep curl for example. So uh, during the lifting phase, that's the concentric phase. And when you're lowering the dumbbell, that's the eccentric phase. So during the concentric phase, you want to make sure that you're lifting with power, you know, with, you know, force. But during the eccentric phase, you slow your roll. So you slow it down as much as possible until, you know, you don't really count how many seconds. You just kind of slow it down until you can't anymore. You let it down slowly during that workouts. You can also use holds. So for example, bicep curl holds. You can hold with one hand and then with the second hand, you curl or you know, you alternate holding with you know, both arms. Either ways, it's up to you to really maximize whatever you have with you and you know, use it to the best of your ability. If you're looking to bulk and add some serious muscle mass, some serious size, then you're going to need more weight. So you know, light weights aren't really gonna help you out as much. They have a point where they'll kind of have you plateau. So you'll plateau and you will feel like you're not really making any progress anymore. So at that point, you gotta go ahead and look for how you're gonna get some more weights or get a gym membership 
whatever works for you and whatever is easiest. But that's essentially all I've got for you guys in today's video right here. I hope you guys have found this one useful. As always, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Y'all already know who it is, man. It's Tommy with the Midas MBMT, and I'm out, y'all.